Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy here. In this tutorial, I am in Adobe Audition and I'm going to show you how I export my finished podcast as an MP3 file to get it ready to upload to Libsyn so I have a finished podcast. So I'm in the multi-track here. You can tell here in Audition, there's track one, that's my voice. This next one is my intro and this is my some more music and my outro. So I just have a pretty simple podcast. It's just me. I'm a one-man band. So I line everything up. I get it the way I want it. I have everything done here. I put my effects over here on the essential sound. I just do a pretty basic stuff. This is a brand new panel over here from Audition that I absolutely love. Makes your podcast sound great. I'm ready to go. So I need to ep export my multi-track into a MP3 file. All right. So what I'm going to do is go to File, Export multi-track mix down and then choose entire session what that does is it takes all of the tracks and just puts them onto one track so it just takes all the multi-tracks and squishes them into one and export it as an mp3 file which is a compressed file all right so what i do is just name it make sure that the directory is the same and it looks good there i'm going to change this to mp3 audio okay dot mp3 that is compressed, so if you have any more uh, processing that you still want to do it, do to it, say you do it to odd, uh, a phonic or something like that, you'd probably want to do it in a waveform because that's uncompressed. But since I'm ready to go, I'm going to change this to an MP3 file. So that's what you need to upload your file to your podcast directory. I keep it at 44, 32 bit. I also keep mine at 128 CBR. Okay. The CBR is very important. You want the constant bit rate. This is debatable. You're going to find people that tell you to do 64 or 96. The lower the number here, the lesser quality. Now, you really want to play with it because the lower the number, also the smaller file size. So that's the debate. A lot of people really want you to, you know, keep the file size small so your listeners are happy because when you have a big file size and they download it on their iPhone it's taking up space so I keep mine at 128 because I like the higher quality I could probably get away with going 96 or even below but I keep it at 9 128 myself some people would tell me that's too high and too big of a file but I have only a 15 minute podcast so I I keep it at that okay and then I keep this at mono. I export my files as a mono. I do not do stereo because um, I don't really have any music. So I don't need to have a stereo file. And then I just hit OK. It's going to export it. And that is how you export a podcast, a finished podcast from the multi-track as an MP3 file. What I do now is I will add tags to it. So I the metadata ID3 tags, upload it to Libsyn, schedule it, and I have a finished podcast. Cheers.